I'm trying to think of what to call this video because it's really something that could be a list of things you could pick from to give somebody else. But the real goal of this video is like something that you could get yourself for Valentine's Day. All of us could find something to give ourselves this Valentine's Day. I think it would be so cool to be able to just spend a little bit of time or money on ourselves <laughs> because there's lots of deals going on right now. And also it's just kind of a time that's peaceful and it's dark outside and stuff so it's a great time to just relax and do a little bit of self-care indulge but what I'm struggling with is like I want to call it what to give yourself for Valentine's Day but I figure that what to gift yourself would be something that people are saying now more I don't know I just feel like everyone's using the word gift as a verb and it just really bothers me <laughs> But anyways, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe you feel the same way. But here's just a list that I put together of different things that you could do. The first thing that would be so cool to give yourself is a little bit of grace and security when it comes to financial things. And what I mean by that is maybe you've got a few extra bucks lying around for gifts. And so one thing that you could do is just put that into savings, maybe pay off a little bit of debt. And then that would be a way to really give yourself something really well-deserved and, you know, awesome, like a, an excuse to do something financially. It's just a gift for yourself. So I just wanted to start off with that tip, which is, you know, the only one that won't be an actual physical thing. Next, I would look at different things that would bring a really great scent into your life. So a lot of Valentine's Day gifts involve scents, right? So you've got flowers, you could get flowers from the grocery store. I do that all the time, especially like spring, summer. I love to be able to fill my home with flowers and flowers can be expensive, but at the grocery store, you can find them a lot more reasonable and it can really make your space just feel so much better. Um, I know roses are at a premium right now, but like there's tons of other types of flowers out there that you could get that just bring a little bit of scents into your life and then scent, <laughs> whatever. Um, but I do think that flowers would be a great option as well as candles. Um, my friend Caroline over on Instagram, you might find her as Caroline Joy. I'll put her link down in the description, but she has a really great life hack, which is she lights candles right between like when the sun's going down. And so that makes it so where like her home is really beautifully lit, but then also it just eases that transition between uh, like a daytime and nighttime. And so that's her hack is it's just a way to make your home more atmospheric and you can just kind of settle in and have some candles around. So the, my favorite candle choice is beeswax candles. I like just the tapered candles and it just has such a great scent to it. And it's a very like old world classic feel. It's not so like, as much as I love, what is it called, Bath and Body Works? <laughs> as much as I love that store and I love all the candle deals, there's something just much better looking, in my opinion, and better smelling to have some beeswax candles. But of course, I absolutely love candles. I did a fall candle haul, you know, back in the day, and I just loved to be able to find good candles. So check that out if you want some of my recommendations. And circling back to flowers, one thing that I love to do at the grocery store, in the back, of the flower section. They've got some bouquets that are usually like on sale, bargain, like not fresh cream of the crop stuff, but I'm serious, some of the bouquets I've found are like three bucks. So definitely look there. <laughs> or you can wait until February 15th and then they're definitely going to have some sales on flowers then. <laughs> if you are looking to splurge a little bit on yourself, for scents, I would definitely look at Heretic Perfume. I haven't personally tried it yet, but it's something that I am eyeing, and they do have a discovery set. I think it's around like 65 bucks, and it's really cool because it's all natural scents, and I'm really into it because all of the perfumes that I've looked at have scents of like bergamot, which is like my all-time favorite, and then it also has like rose scents. I love anything with like a spice to it, and so they've got some that are like a, a dirty rose or a dirty flower that would mean that it's got like spices infused with floral notes and some citrus, so sounds so good. Um, definitely on my radar right now. Okay, some beauty items that you could gift or give yourself right now is 
a hand cream. I think that because it's so dry right now, especially like just because it's winter time, this is when my hands and my elbows just start like cracking and being really painful and just awful. So one thing that I am living in right now is hand cream. <laughs> and so there's one hand cream that I love right now from Grown Alchemist. I've got it right here. It's uh, This is a vanilla and orange peel and it's just, Something that smells really good. Grown Alchemist is unisex too, so it's really nice to be able to share if you like have a spouse or whatever and you just wanna be able to share something or it's nice too to just be like, you know, do you want some hand cream? Maybe there's a stranger and you're just wanting to offer. <laughs> and maybe they don't exactly have the same taste and sense as you do. So having something like this is super neutral. It's not going to like blow people out of the water if you're in a plane or whatever, and it's just like way too aromatic. This is toned down, and I really like that. Uh, hand cream though, it, I mean, you could do something that is more personal to your own taste if you wanted to, but just in general, Hand cream would be such a nice and possibly inexpensive gift to give yourself or, or gift yourself. Another idea I thought of was I love my combo of the silk pillowcase with the, a silk eye mask. Um, there's a brand called Slip that makes that and that's what I got and I loved it so much that a year later I went and bought another eye mask. Um, and so I've got two now, which is nice because I wash them weekly. Um, I use just a wool light silks and delicates like I think it's just wool light delicates and it allows me to be able to wash my silks and not have them damaged or anything so definitely look into I'll leave a link for the wool light that I use and then also for the slip mask that I use it is so nice and why I can't recommend that enough is because when you sleep on silk it's going to keep you from having like more wrinkles. It's very gentle on your skin and your hair. It won't have like frizzy hair or anything. Like it's gonna make your life so much better and you're gonna wake up feeling refreshed, not so puffy. And then also it just makes your hair look great and your skin look awesome. So having silk right on my eyes helps me a lot too because not only is it keeping me from having like more wrinkles, but then it also helps me like not frown so much. I find that, well, I don't know this personally, but Zach tells me that I frown <laughs> in my sleep. And I'm like, why am I getting wrinkles right here? He's like, well, when you sleep. <laughs> You know, I'm kind of like that. And I think it's because I am so sensitive to light that I'm just, I must be like trying to keep out light more so by like frowning and, and keeping my eyes closed. So if I have a mask on, that's gonna help me a lot to not have those wrinkles. It's just a nice option too. Whenever you have a lovely eye mask, you can just drift to sleep and what a great gift to give yourself. Lately, I've been talking a lot about slippers on my channel. It's just something that I'm living in. Again, like the hand cream, I'm living in hand cream, I'm living in slippers. And this is my indoor life right now. What I love about slippers is that I don't have to wake up to having like a cold floor, you know, right off the bat. And it's something that also helps me to not wear on my feet so much just walking around barefoot. And then plus it's just warmer. So I found some slippers that I really like online that I'll link to you guys. Um, but I've actually got some slippers of my own that my mom gave me just the other day. Like she came and surprised me with some slippers. So that's what I've been wearing lately. They were bunny slippers. I showed them in a past video. Anyways, guys, um, I would definitely say that slippers would be a lovely gift to give yourself. You know, these are gifts that only you can benefit from. They're comfort and this time of year, I feel that's so important. Moving on to some home items. One thing in particular that I have on my wish list is the Vitruvi essential oil diffuser. I think that this would be a really great thing to have in my home so that my home's always smelling good. And it just looks like a piece of sculpture, like it looks like a nice vase. Um, I love the fact that it's made out of porcelain and then that's just gonna make it to where it really does look like something that's supposed to be in your home for decoration. You know, a lot of diffusers that people People have like especially I've got one that's a humidifier that I put a little bit of drops in and it just looks like a humidifier it doesn't look fancy <laughs> and so if I want to have this as part of my home like permanently 
I think that it would be really nice to be able to just have something that looks great. It has like form and function. So have that on my list. Another thing that I think would be so much fun to be able to put in your home, something new and fresh, is a house plant. As you guys can see, like I love house plants a lot. I think that when I added house plants to my home, it just made my whole house look much more like lively and honestly more homey. I feel like it made me a little bit less seasonally depressed and I also just think that it's fun to be able to have that you know exchange of of gases between me and my plants like Zach's looking at me really weird right now. <laughs> Another thing you can do with your house plant is also get a nice pot so that it really makes it feel more like a addition to your home. Uh, I actually prefer to have like the terracotta pots, but there's a few that I found on like West Elm that I absolutely love. And also if I find any other good recommendations for pots for house plants, I'll put them down in the description. Another pretty affordable gift that you could give yourself for Valentine's Day, especially because it's winter time, I love to have a heat pad that I can just put in the microwave for a minute and a half and then put in the bottom of my bed so that my feet are nice and warm. I just think that that's like the best feeling in the world when I don't have a cold bed in the middle of winter. Instead, I have just a nice warm bed. I just think that that is lovely and really helps me just kind of drift off and, and feel more comfortable and relaxed. So my nightly routine lately has been go heat up my heat pad, put that in the bottom of my bed, and then I go get ready ready and do like all of my like makeup removal and do all that stuff. So that's kind of how I approach bedtime these days when it's nice and cold outside and I just want to be cozy inside. And then I've got like my candles still going and then I just read a book. And lastly, I have a few ideas for things that are clothing that you could get this time of year for yourself. These are ones that really just benefit you, not like the outside world. One would be fitness clothing. I just completed a month of working out for an entire month every day for 20 minutes even if it was like gentle yoga I was able to do that every day and I'm really excited about that you can join me on doing that too just write in the comments that you're doing that as well so I'm doing that for 365 days working out 20 minutes a day even if it's gentle yoga. I have really used my fitness clothing a lot, and so adding a new like sports bra to your collection, or even like a new pair of leggings, maybe some socks, or a new pair of like running shoes. These are all great ideas for like Valentine's Day gifts for yourself, and they're just gonna make your life better and inspire you to work out even more, and that's awesome. Another great option is to upgrade your PJs. I think that this is something we often overlook, you know, you might want to just be tempted to use that old t-shirt that you've had since like high school and it's still in your collection and, and instead of that, why don't you upgrade your pajamas to be silky and beautiful and something that you're confident in or even more comfortable in or better for your skin, like again, silk would be so good to prevent like extra wrinkles and stuff. It's just nice and cozy too, or maybe even a robe would be really great. So I'll leave some ideas in the description below for great pajama options. And finally, for the last piece of clothing ideas for what to get yourself for Valentine's Day, maybe this is a time to splurge a little bit. I'm sure that we all have something on our wish list that we just really are looking at and wanting really badly. So that might be a purse that you've had your eye on for a while, maybe a really nice pair of shoes, um, maybe a pair of pants that was a little bit less than budget friendly, but something that you've been wanting for a long time that could make a big difference in your wardrobe. This might be a great opportunity to do that and have an excuse to get that for yourself. And finally, my last piece of Valentine's Day for yourself ideas is a book. Um, I love to read fiction books at night before bed. I think that it's just a way to kind of drift off. I like to read fiction books at bedtime a little bit more than I prefer to read like self-help books at night, just because self-help books will make my mind like click and like turn on and, and think of all the things I should be doing. Instead, I like to read fiction because I don't have to pay attention that closely. Like I could just put the book down, pick it up tomorrow, unless it's like really enthralling. I can give you a link in my description as well for my Goodreads list of all the books I've read and all of my recommendations. You guys know right off the top of my head, The Nightingale is one book I recommend frequently. It just will make you cry and it is so good. 
It's slightly addicting though, so it might not make you drift off. But yeah, just getting a really good cozy book would be such a great idea this time of year. So you got your book, you got your pajamas, maybe something really beautiful and scented like candles. This could make your whole day just so lovely and you could use these things day after day and so yeah i hope that this is helpful if anything it might even be a good gift idea for somebody else in your life i hope you guys have a wonderful day i've been excited to post more on this channel and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like the idea of having this many videos i'm definitely looking forward to posting more this year and the sun is setting so i will see you guys later have a good one bye